In today's video, you guys prove that I am a big idiot, and I show you the best way to play 4K HDR Blu-ray rips in Plex with SDR tone mapping. Let's take a look right after this. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. I'm Evil's Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I'm a big ol' idiot. But before we get to that, as usual, full disclosure, this video is part of my regularly ongoing monthly sponsored series from Plex, where they sponsor me to do some tutorials about their software, because I use it to play back my movies and TV shows and the like. And last month, I co actually for the past two months, I've covered 4K Blu-ray rips and HDR and how to play that and what the issues are with transcoding. You don't need to transcode, though. And I still think that video was valuable for specific workflows where you do, or, I mean, you in order to play back on, like, mobile devices, you would still need to transcode. But for certain computers and stuff, you might still need to transcode. But if you're just playing on a standard computer, you do not. Because, you see, Plex has this lovely app called Plex Media Player. Now, that may seem obvious, because, in theory, that's what the other apps that I covered were called. But they have a dedicated Win32-based program instead of the Windows Store UWP app which is what I covered before, because when I got my Plex Pass, that was the cool thing, was getting the Windows 8 integration where you could separate the view of your desktop to the player and something they decided to cut out for Windows 10. So I forgot that they actually had just a standard Win32 application. And actually, it's a little misleading, because if you're on their little apps page here, you've got the TV and consoles, you've got streaming devices, mobile, and then computer. And if you go to Windows... That's the UWP app. That's not the Plex Media Player. You have to click this one and check it out. And this is the actual just standard app, although this is completely useless information and doesn't even show the desktop version. Their download stuff is weird. But if you click download here, you get the Win32 or I guess Win64. Is that how you refer to those apps? But you get the standard desktop release, which is this. Now, this lets you play 4K HDR Blu-rays via direct stream to your computer, as long as you have a relatively modern computer and you do not need specific hardware on your NAT or on your Plex server in order to stream this. And this is the big important part because the server I'm connected to right now is my Synology disk station NAS, this right here, Synology DS1817+. Plus. I have a second volume dedicated to Plex. You can see CPU usage is currently at 0%. And when we play back movies from this, it will handle it because it is direct playing. I mean, you can transcode too, but as I covered in last month's video, it's going to take a lot of horsepower. But, so I'm going to play it here. Resume from this point. Okay, so, a couple things. We now have original, so it is direct playing directly from the source. It's just streaming the file. But there's color. This looks freaking gorgeous. This looks amazing. Now, if you remember last month's video, it didn't look so hot. And that's because, traditionally, there's not HDR tone mapping in the web browser version, in the Windows UWP version, and so on. And so this is what that same-ish scene looks like just through MPC, just playing it locally. It's all washed out. It's a little dark. There's not a whole lot of information there because this is HDR, but without... You know, I'm not on an HDR display. You're not watching this video in HDR. The Plex Media Player tone maps to SDR, and it looks amazing. And again, it is direct playing from this NAS using 1% to 0% CPU usage on the NAS because it is direct playing. So you don't need any power for this if you're using the Plex Media Player app. And that applies in general. If you're not streaming to mobile devices or to devices that require transcoding, you can use a NAS for your Plex server because it will just be direct playing all of these clips. I'm not going to play too much of this movie. Don't want copyright claims, but same thing if we come over here to Warcraft. Resume from 56 minutes in. You get orcs beating each other up. All the color, all the contrast, all the dynamic range. I mean, uh, wind tone mapped to SDR. It looks gorgeous. And again, direct playing the full 4K HEVC file, 7.1 surround sound, and the NAS might be doing a little bit more work there, but that's probably just doing some stuff in the background. Not a big deal. 
it is freaking amazing. So this is a fairly short video. Wanted to get it up to you guys today because I discovered the most obvious thing that a few of you were yelling at me in the comments for, but none of, I don't think anyone mentioned that it did tone mapping, just that it didn't need transcoding in order to play the files. So, TLDR, if you need a way to play back your 4K, HDR, UHD, Blu-ray rips on a computer, that a modern-ish computer, you don't need a lot of storage server power for your NAS or for your Plex server. The Plex Media Player desktop app for Windows will do it. I'll do some future testing on Mac. Um, I don't think they have a data dedicated Mac app, unfortunately. Um, and then we'll check out Linux. But I think Windows is your best bet here with this specific app. And you still have full control over your standard stuff. Like this is basically the uh, the TV or the web application here. And actually, if I come over here, you actually get full screen mode, which looks pretty nice. And it's not doing it right now, but typically uh, <laughs> NVIDIA Share or NVIDIA Shadowplay hooks into this because it's using your GPU drivers a bit. Uh, so that could cause some conflicts with specific overlays, um, but not a big deal. And then you can, of course, cast to other devices. So if you needed to cast to a TV, I guess you could route it through this. That might be a little weird, uh, but you have all the standard control here. It is pretty nice. So yeah, that was it for this video. Didn't have a whole lot to go off. Just wanted to show this obvious discovery that I made. As always, if you want to sign up for Plex, buy a Plex Pass or gift a Plex Pass to a friend. Affiliate links will be in the description down below. Please sign up for those. And hit the like button. If you found this video helpful, subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Let me know how much of an idiot I am in the comment section down below. And I'll see you in the next one.